Before I die, I put all my energy into it, such grievous passion of frightening circumstances into which I got, and the vision so clear, that the traces of rush and haste disappeared, and the picture is the embodiment of the whole life. This is what Paul Gauguin wrote about his picture, Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? At the very end of the 19th century, the French painter Paul Gauguin set out for the second time to the island of Tahiti, which appealed to him so much. But this time he was going there not as a jovial and vibrant creator, but as a seriously sick person, disillusioned and disappointed in life. Gauguin's dream was to find a source of inspiration on the island, but only the crash of his creative plans, severe need and unbearable physical suffering awaited him instead. Are all my efforts fruitless? Then why fight for existence? Is there anything to live for? Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? As soon as Gauguin felt a little better, his nature of the artist took the better of him. His pessimism dispelled, and he took a brush in his hand. The idea of the picture, where do we come from, what are we, where are we going, had haunted him for a long time. Separate elements had already been embodied in other pictures, such as Tahitian landscape, where he painted a woman's figure, the golden study with the figure of the fruit gatherer, or harvesting of grapes at Arles, Miserez Humains, in which he depicted the figure of a tired Tahitian woman. I intended to commit suicide in December 1897, but before death, I made up my mind to paint a huge picture, the plot of which had taken shape in my mind. I had been working like mad for a month, day in, day out. Paul Gauguin left us his artistic and spiritual testament. He depicted the life of a man from birth to death in a huge picture. The picture may be viewed upon the way oriental manuscripts are read, from right to left. The course of a human's life is depicted step by step, from birth to death. The baby's peaceful sleep is guarded by a big black dog. Three young girls are standing motionless, anticipating something exciting to happen. A robust youth is picking fruit from a tree. The other one, intentionally big, contrary to the laws of perspective, is raising his hand in wonder. Maybe for the first time he began thinking about his destiny. A lonely woman is concentrated on her thoughts. A child is going to eat some fruit. A cat is licking from a basin. One more woman looks as if she is listening to something. Beside her, there is an old woman who seems to have been put up with the idea of looming death. And a white bird, a symbol of vain fussiness. The earthly way of man's life is over. A stone idol is looking at everything indifferently from the height of the pedestal. Years will pass by, people will grow old and pass away. The stone sculptured figure will remain motionless, firm, steadfast, unshakable, eternal. Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? Mysterious shadows are reflected in the dark waters of a forest brook, the source of life. The other bank is covered with lush tropical growth, emerald grass, and strange blue trees. And somewhere far away, there is an inaccessible heavenly island. Paul Gauguin used rough canvas for the picture, Tahitians used it for sacks, and deliberately had not primed it. In the Tahitian heat, paints melted and trickled down the smooth coating, but the rough, knotty texture of the canvas quickly absorbed the paint. It helped the artist reach an ideal two-dimensional portrayal and not to lapse into the sugariness of the academic school. At the end of the 80s of the 19th century, misfortune pursued the painter. He was getting exhausted with every coming day. The news from France about the death of his beloved daughter Eileen was the last straw. 
Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? Unable to overcome his heavy loss, exhausted, impoverished, and disappointed, Gauguin, with arsenic in his hand, went to the mountains. The attempt to commit suicide was a failure. In the morning, exerting himself, Gauguin forced himself to get up and leave his Golgotha for the bank down the hill back to life. Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? Gauguin's spiritual testament is profoundly pessimistic. His belief was that any rational European who pondered over insoluble enigmas of life and death would be inevitably unhappy. Only children, animals, and savages, his Tahitian friends, are happy in this world. They are serene and joyous because it does not occur to them to ponder over the enigmas which have and will have no answer. Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? <laughs>